Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Luck Be a Landlord. Let's get a spinning. We've had some pretty good runs recently, to be perfectly honest with you, and I feel like, uh, who knows? Maybe I'm actually becoming good at the game. Oh, <laughs> probably not, right? Um, let's take an oyster. Let, let's go full on make me a luck be a diver build and then we're going to just get fricked when no diver ever appears uh, it's gonna be the diver plus you know, just going in i'm going in i'm going in give me the diver we're just gonna get him immediately and you're gonna be like he's a god so far no though so far no give me a reroll as well to be fair, we actually had luck in the last episode with a random reroll. I'll take a miner. He's gonna he's gonna get our uh, our ore taken care of, and then I'll hit you with my first skip. I don't like any of those options. I don't really like the options that we've done right now. To be fair, we're gonna buff our chance for rares with the shiny pebble here early. Um, I think that throwing a mouse in the deck is not necessarily a terrible thing. I've been neglecting the power of the mouse. The mouse is actually, he's really not that bad. So we'll take Gollum, which is a little weird. And then, uh, Yellow Pepper is a free two later in the game. Um, but Lockpick is, like, significantly better. I'm not sure why I even hesitated. <laughs> it's, it's, like, insanely good. Okay, um, Omelette's not the answer. In fact, I'm gonna hit you with the honest to goodness truth. None of those are actually the answer. Um, so many pearls. So many freaking pearls. It, it's dangerous. It really is. Give me the cat. And I'm gonna tell you, we are probably already dead. Like, that that's the honest to goodness truth, is we are probably already dead. Um, we're basically banking on a diver showing up in the next, like, 10 rolls. Otherwise, we just lose. Um, so, probably gonna happen. Um, let's take a Hex of Destruction. Why not, All right, Get a little wacky. I also kind of think that Birdhouse is good. I also think that Conveyor Belt is horrifying. <laughs> that, that, that becomes a 40% chance that they add a pearl. See, now this is just weird. Uh, it's how many pearls can we get in the deck? And then we just like, we wait and see if the diver is going to show up. He's not going to. So don't expect much. Give me a plum. I don't know. I'm, I'm, we're, we're kind of memeing right now. Now, uh, this, this is not the kind of build that you want to do in the slightest. Um, this is a horrifically built run. 150 doing two spins, huh? I don't actually think it's possible for us to get there. It's going to be tight. Oh, because of our, our wealthy capsule, we have indeed made it there. Um, where's the diver? <laughs> we'll take the five-sided die. I'll also take lucky cat, and then you're going to give me a diver. You're going to give me a diver. That's a bartender, in case you were curious. Um, you're going to give me a diver. And it's going to be crazy when you give me it. Because he's basically going to spawn in and then be immediately be worth like 40. <laughs> okay, so this one was an absolute failure. Um, look, don't don't build runs like this. It was all it was all a clever, clever trick. Wow, the fact that we got Ms. Fruit, but no, uh, no diver is even more disappointing. To be honest, it's even more disappointing. Uh, you gotta go for broke, take an arrow, and, and hope for the best, and, uh, say goodbye to this run. That was a great final turn, um, but fun fact, when you make it where you have a 40% chance to add a, uh, pearl into your deck, and all pearls are pretty much horrible, chances are you're gonna have a pretty poor time, uh, coming out of that, so. But it's good. It's good. It gets the juices flowing. It gets the, your little fingers in the comment section are, are going already. I can tell. Uh, I, I feed on the rage. Let's take an item capsule. And um, I actually like Lucky Cat and I like Ninja and Mouse. Lucky Cat is, is just benefits early. Um, so I will take that. We ended up getting Ninja Mouse directly after. How, how funny and intriguing. Okay. Um, I think I want Crow. I think I want crow, and and here's the reason why. Okay, it's it's early, 
early energy. I'm also gonna, I wanna maybe dig into a weird ore build. It's the one build that I just can't seem to ever make pop. So I like want to make it pop and, and do an ore build. It's probably because they don't work is the reason why you uh, don't want to do an ore build. But I'm, I'm curious enough about it. Okay, we'll take Pizza the Cat. At least our cat becomes ever so slightly better. I will take the safe because we don't have a key. Never mind that we already had that come and come and do good stuff. Okay. Um, this run is already like pretty highly cursed because I'm just adding garbage now. And it doesn't really hold any opportunity for us to succeed. In fact, I actually think that we will probably maybe not even make it to... Oh no, we will absolutely make it. But this is not a good setup. Don't don't think that this one is in a good spot right now based on what you've seen. Um, I'm going to take a big urn. And then you gave me checkered flag. Um, now checkered flag does not actually do anything to the crow. So all of a sudden I look like a dumbass. I took this on the chance of getting checkered flag. So I'm going to tell you the, the honest to goodness truth. Um, we'll be starting again. <laughs> Because when I took an item because I thought it did something else, uh, that's a pretty good sign that that run is just extremely screwed. Let's go for a, a maybe flower seed type run and see if we can get something to, to get wacky with it. Now, you, you probably are like, Tyler, take a, gold, uh, take a monkey. I'm going to take a goldfish. And we did get a flower, so that's intriguing. I'm going to take another flower. Flower meta does work. Uh, you just have to get the appropriate pieces around it. I kind of like ninja here. I am actually going to take the ninja here. Mena mena ninja. Mena 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 ninja. Boop boo. Doo 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 doo. A mining picker egg carton. I know I said I was not going to do an ore build. Let's go egg carton instead. You know, we get one hen or something in this deck and it, it looks a little bit nicer i probably should not be doing this much skipping i'm gonna take a coal one diamond cannot hurt the deck it's impossible there's no chance um i'm gonna skip again are we dead i think we no we're not dead already i'm skipping so much because i just i want to keep the deck nice and thin and dandy it's another ninja that does not help me at all um this does not help me either red pepper also does not help me we'll take checkered flag checkered flag is is proving to be a pretty good thing recently um a coin is quite literally the worst item in the game <laughs> so probably don't want to do that Let's go for a pinata. Maybe we'll add a toddler to this deck and, and let that kind of go crazy. I'll take a shiny pebble. Get the rares pumping a little bit more. I'll take another shiny pebble. Get the rares pumping a little bit more. I'll take a chick. Feeds directly into our strategy with the egg carton. And then this is now the rare moment where you don't take a cultist. Um, and I just realized that we failed. So maybe that run did not work either. We go again. We go again. Start with a cultist. Cultists carry. They they do. They're very good. I don't want any of these, but I will take the snail. You, you take the snail for the... You know what? No. I will take a flower instead. I want to get a, a flower meta going. Give me a shiny pebble. Shiny pebble into a, a flower meta where you're just going to give me some some rain and some some good stuff i'm also going to take a hex of destruction and i'm going to take a lock pick because lock pick is still uh in my opinion one of the best items in the game then we'll item capsule that gave me pizza the cat which is actually a, a totally fine upgrade at this stage of the game um i don't think light bulb is still very good in fact i think it's actually horrible um and you might disagree, you might, but I'm going to tell you, your opinion matters very little to me. Uh, I don't think it's good. <laughs> the end. Okay, we killed our cultist, uh, and I, I actually, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. It keeps the deck thin. We're all about the thin deck. We're all about the thin deck. Um, let's take cleaning rag. 
Yeah, that's right. We're making a, a grand pivot. We're making a grand pivot to a completely different uh, build type. And we're going to do an ore deck now. But it's going to be ore and seeds. <laughs> okay, it's not going to work. It's not going to work, but it, it's going to be cute. It's going to be cute, I'm telling you. It's going to be the cutest damn deck you've ever seen. I'm also going to take uh, one of those. And then we're basically looking for anvil and a dwarf. And that's probably not going to happen. Since that's a pretty rare situation um, to get both of the items that you need. We do have a lockpick, so give me the safe. Uh, and happy hour, we do have wine just sitting in our deck. So at least it's a three banger, right? At least it's a three banger. Um, Take a topaz. Take, take a small little topaz on this one. Take another flower. I do think that this deck does not work at all. I think that doing an ore build and a flower build, two of the worst builds in the game, um, and then trying to pair them together to make a build that works, probably just means you're going to lose. But I'm intrigued enough to see if we can be the wacky person that drives this one to completion. So Birdhouse um, is actually just completely worthless to us. Um, anthropology degree, however, I think is, is pretty good. I mean, it's better than a piggy bank, right? You know, it doesn't affect us right now, but we we do tend to add people to our deck. Um, so when those people get added, they're going to be a little bit better for us. I'm also going to continue to take wine. Wine are, are three bangers right now. Albeit a little bit weird. And then the miner, I mean, he is worth two because of our anthropology degree that I did not know we were going to get um, on this run. In fact, I don't, I'm not even sure I've ever seen that item. <laughs> so it's kind of news to me. We also get white pepper. And 225 is due in, in one spin. So I, I'm, we did just fine. For some reason, this is working. Um, I don't think it's good still, though. We'll see. I, I'm throwing a lot of ore into the deck. Did he just mine a snail? <laughs> <laughs> that son of a gun just mined a snail. I, I refuse to believe otherwise. He took a hammer to a snail and then out popped a, a happy little pearl. It's a weird... Everything's very weird. How is that worth 20? Okay, everything is, is a little wacky and strange right now. The bounty hunter is part of our anthropology degree. Um... So we could put him in and then go for a, a thief play in the future, but let's let's instead go for some rabbit fluff. And then I'll go for some more rabbit fluff and we're probably dead here. Uh, never mind, we still have another spin. Um, okay, then, then we're actually totally fine. Coal hatched into a diamond, you love to see that. And our, our miner is, he's still kind of just going. I'll take the apple. I mean, mining pick feels like the right move here if we're going to do this weirdo mining run. Also, like, all of our ore turned into, like, positive ore. Meaning ore that is not just, you know, a, a basic, uh, basic stupid ore. Let's take an urn, and maybe the Hex of Destruction will hit the urn! He hit the bee. You never know, right? You never know. It's not a, look, it's not a good idea. I'll take another cat. It's not a good idea to ever take the Hex of Destruction. Um, I take it mainly to meme because it's, it's kind of just, Pinata was the last run. It's kind of just one of those strange items where, <laughs> since the game is so random, it's just never worth it to, I mean, I'm kind of coming around to, it's never worth it to take Hexes in this game. Like, they're just, they're just not good at all. Um, now, you are destroying my, my simple, simple crappy items, which I'm happy about. But you are going to have to be very diligent on what you are uh, destroying. So, I am going to take General Zaroff, and let's get weird immediately. And then I'm also going to take Compost. And th this run's going to be in a strange spot. We, we don't have a build. Like, this is the rare no build run we just lost our diamond <laughs> okay we'll add a toddler so that general Zaroff can murder him it's a little little much i will say but 
Did I take tax evasion? Why does the the thief is, is not taking money? What's up with that? Like our, our thief is just not taking money. Why? Why is that the case? Um. Oh, because he gives one more money. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Actually hilarious. Also, General Zaraf has not appeared on the board once. There he goes. Goodbye, thief. Okay. So he gave four times zero money. That's lovely. Um, really helpful for our run. We lost our rabbit fluff. We have survived to the next uh, next wave, which is just humorous and alarming. This is such a, a terrible build. Give me a dwarf. Give me a ninja. Give me a bounty hunter and give me joker and then general Zaraf is gonna murder all of them <laughs> okay this is such a such a strange run goodbye general Zaraf sends his regards <laughs> so a thief is still bad it's still bad Let, let's not get too carried away with the thief it's still bad we have so many three bangers in this deck dude which is such a- oh, the toddler's dead. Does General Zaroff kill babies? Is, does, is that a thing? He does, okay. So we, we do want to keep children in the deck. So that General Zaroff can murder them. It's, it's an interesting implication for sure. Come on, Zaroff. I need a protractor so we can get the guys in the corner. I think that we will actually be fine here. Uh, it's gonna be tight, actually. I'm looking at it now. It's going to be a little tight. We're, we're going to need a General Zaroff play here to, to get stuff going. He he did just murder two people. We just hatched into a watermelon, dude. Oh my god, and we were off by seven. Okay, um, let's let's get let's get a non-wacky and weird one. Let's take an owl. I think the owl is actually a very good value add. Whereas I think the magpie isn't. But the magpie also is like the the king of synergies in this game i'll also take a turtle we're basically playing for checkered flag right now um it won't happen we'll take the coal early early coal is we actually died on the first... <laughs> we died on the first turn um <laughs> yeah you know what that makes sense i took a bunch of things that don't give you money for multiple turns oh frig it if we're in meme central you might as well just keep on digging deeper We'll take another owl. And we have to hit 25. I refuse to believe that we will not hit 25. Okay, thank you. Our owls are going to carry us to victory. Give me a chick, and let's get some egg action going. I'm also going to take Lucky Cat. While pull immediately you pay out, and that's what you love to see. You know what? You like that? You like them apples? I added another goose to the deck. That's right. You heard me. I added a goose to the deck. What are you going to do about it? Okay. Um, take the void stone. We're, we're playing for the uh, birdhouse item. Sure, I'll take a magpie. We're playing for the birdhouse item. This is the bird deck. Where all of the items that we add have to be birds or I don't take them. In fact, that is not actually the case. I am going to probably take other items besides birds. But I can't deny, it's pretty tempting to just take birds. You think it, You think there is, in fact, a way to win this game where you only take birds? I can't imagine there is. I'm gonna skip because it's not a bird. <laughs> the turtle's just sitting in the deck kind of like, uh, Sir, am I a bird? Yes, you're, you're an honorary bird today, Mr. Turtle. So these eggs, they do be hatching, though. Um, and we are going to need to figure out a way to make them ever so slightly better. I'll take a bee because, like a bird, it flies. Um, so thus, you know, if you stretch the laws of nature a little bit, the bee is in fact a bird. Let's take Pizza the Cat, my new favorite item in the game. We also now have two hens, which means we're going to have like 8,000 eggs in this deck. Um, which I will, I will argue is a horrifically bad thing. And they're just going to keep on giving more, too. 
which is not great. I'm gonna take two two Russian nesting dolls. I refuse to pronounce them out loud now because I'll just have people roasting me and telling me that I suck at Russian. Um, which, guess what? I'm not a Russian, so that feels like a pretty decent thing to suck at. I will skip. We have made it to 150 somehow in the incredibly cursed bird deck. And uh, we're going to see how far the birds can carry us. That's right. I will not take the Hex of Destruction. I will not take Wine either. It's just hilarious. Um, yeah, we'll take the Chicken Coop, which means that chickens are three times more likely to give <laughs> eggs. And they already, for the record have a 5% chance of adding an egg. So a 15% chance for them to add an egg. Plus, we have a 30% chance that our eggs hatch. This is a weird run. <laughs> They've already given a golden egg, dude. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a bird, by the way. Birds only? Can I hit you with a quick little birds only? I don't think I care. I think that I am okay with this birds only deck. It's it's undeniable that we will lose uh, now. Like this this deck is not good enough to to handle getting to 250 or whatever this is. You gave me a mega chest. Really? I will take it. Not because it's a bird, but because it is interesting. Uh, and then once again, Guess what? We died. So the birds only deck, in case you were curious, does not work. Or you got to get really lucky. Um, we now have a banana and two flowers. In fact, I hate all of those items that I will just skip. The magpie, like I said, it's got some insane synergies, but no synergies that I feel uh, happy about taking on this run here. We take rain. Um, and then we probably take rusty gear here, and then the goal is, like, just freaking go crazy and get a thousand flowers. I don't think it will happen, and I think that we actually will probably not even get 250 and we'll die. Um, I'm, I'm really pressing my luck here. Although I'm actually not. I think we're guaranteed to get 10 no matter what here. So I'm skipping to keep this deck absurdly thin in the hopes of throwing... I don't think we can afford the Hustling Capsule. Okay, Rain give one more in our common instead of uncommon. This is where we start to pop. This is where we start to pop. Now, frick, I'll take a light bulb. It's fine. I'm mad about it, but we will do it. You gotta give me Rain... You got to give me a goose just for the memes, and then you got to give me flowers, and then let's just, like, let it go. So, seeds, it spawned a cherry. What do you think you are, huh? I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. In fact, I was so confident that I was going to turn into a flower that my entire brain was, like, ready to get going. So, hexatedium. Why we take that? Um, it's to basically guarantee that we lose. One more, one more try today. One more try. We'll take a flower. We'll take a flower. We're, we're, look, today was a, a day of experimentation. Sometimes trying to get some wacky and weird uh, synergies to build is the fun of playing a game like this. So, if you're upset that I did not play all of these runs to uh, try to win in the hardest way possible, then honestly, look yourself in the mirror and realize you are part of the problem. Sometimes you just got to do some wacky, strange stuff. And that's what we like to do here on this channel. So get used to the wacky, strange stuff. I'm digging into the flower build yet again um, because we can actually afford to do some skipping early because our void stone is basically just going to carry us um, and give us a significantly larger amount of money than what we necessarily deserve to have. So I will take a plum. I think Capsule Machine is disturbingly good. And a lot of people disagree with me, but I think it's disturbingly good. And Void Creature plus Void Stone are just going to kind of... They're going to kind of pop for a little bit. Now, this is definitely where we need to start adding more to the deck. Uh, I'm going to throw another cat in. We have made it to 100, so we're okay. I'll, I'll do a Chemical 7, um, just because I don't really like anything else. A Coconut is a horrific add. 
we're we're not pleased to see that at all. This now basically means we have to put a monkey in the deck. Um which is fine. Like we can add a monkey easily. I'll take a lock pick. Lock pick yet again, just one of those uh very good. So item capsule twice means two items, and it basically gives us black pepper and red pepper. Completely fine. Lockbox is free money. And, uh, I mean, it's it's a build, for sure. I think that we probably are fine skipping. You know, as long as the lockbox, you know, there pays out, then, then we'll be okay. We do have a coal. Let's take another. Two diamonds plus the synergy we have going is probably good enough. I took another light bulb. Um, there's our first diamond, which will actually propel us into our, into our spins here. Take another void creature. Lucky carrot. Wow, dude, these are all, like, crazy good. <laughs> They're crazy good. Clear Sky is actually, like, wild. Um, it's wild because, like, sun is so good. And if we can just get one sun with all of these flowers, we are going to be absolutely golden. I don't see it happening. This is going to be disgusting. Minus... Is only minus six for a plus two is very good. I thought that was going to be a minus 12. So we add the monkey. This run has a lot of potential to do some weird stuff as long as we can just, oh my God. Uh, a minus 12 for four permanent every turn is like the best deal of all time for the record. But we will not get to 225, which means this run is going to also go into the pooper uh, at the end of this. It's unfortunate, especially when you have six permanents a turn right now had so much potential to to just go crazy and we will not we will not get there you know some wacky items some wacky weird synergies and we just we, we couldn't make them work today we couldn't make them work and that is a-okay thank you guys so much for watching as always a like on the video is much appreciated thanks for all the support and luck be a landlord i'll see you in the next episode you have a good rest of your day Bye bye